What's up y'all, Elisha Moko Kandama back with another Kandama unboxing and we got a double unboxing today. I'm super excited because I'm not unboxing something from a box, but I instead get to show you something that someone handed me in person. Fran Tamars and Marcus Landris are pros on Lotus Kandama. They have super awesome just play styles, they rip, they're just great people and so kind. I've gotten to see Franta in a couple different events over the last couple years. I first saw him slash met him at NACO 2022 and he was just so hyped to be there and seeing his freestyle in person for the first time ever was like the greatest thing in my life because he's so cool and his flow is so sick. I think the first time I met Marcus was literally at battle this year, which was insane. With that said, I got both of these in person, which is really amazing. And thank you, Franta, and thank you, Marcus, for literally canning these to me so I could do a video. Which one do we do? I don't know which one we do. Um, let's do, and this isn't me picking favorites, let's do the Franta one first. The boxes are really cool and simplistic. It has the main colors of the Thomas on there, which is super great. As you can see, orange is like the main color other than the white on the Kandama, so we got an orange box. You can pause right there if you wanna read what's on the back of the box, and you can pause right there if you wanna read what's there on the back of the box. Assuming these are derived from the element shape, so that's really cool. But basically, he jutted out the ring a little bit, put some different lasers around for better grip when you're doing string tricks. Cup rims are there to make the slingers better. Serato's there for the greatest lunars all of that kind of stuff, and I'm super excited, so let's just do it now. Um, we're unboxing this thing, and oh, let me just get the whole plastic thing out. Two Lotus stickers, which are beautiful, check those out. A Kendama bag in the packaging, so not only do you get a package, but you get a sick Kendama bag, and this isn't going anywhere because it's unique to Franta, and I love Franta. Oh my gosh, the goodies down here are actually super sick. It's not just a normal string, but it's a silk string, plus like a pin in there, which is super dope. Check out that pin. And it also has a bearing, which is keeping it correct. <laughs> and we got the Kendama, which looks super beautiful. Check this thing out. We got a sweet Lotus Kanama logo right there, which is super sick. A couple burns right here, which is super nice and detailed. So I got this logo right here. Franta can comment down below what that means. I have no clue what that is. Maybe it's Franta's logo, but that is also really sweet. And then at the top, probably one of the coolest tracking things ever. Look at that snake all around there. That thing is absolutely insane and beautiful. As for the Tama design, it's really cool. It's just a really simplistic half split, which is nice. And then you get that camo orange down there, which is a nice touch for your tracking mouse inside of that bevel, which is also a nice detail. Could also technically help with your tracking. This shape feels really good and solid. Full maple construction, which is always good. Uh, he said the slingers were gonna be good and the slingers are pretty solid. Let's see if it fast lows. Yeah, okay, yeah, that fast lows, which is pretty great. Lunar balance, let's see if that's in check. Yo, oh, oh my, okay, wait, hang on. Let's see if I can get this in frame. That's absolutely freaking ridiculous. That lunar balance just smacks on there. That is like so awesome. Yeah, the birds seem really nice. Something that's really cool is that it's not completely fat, flat right there on the rim. You can kind of see there's like a nice roundness to the rim. And then these rings, geez, oh. The soft angles around the hard angle is great with the swoop and all that kind of stuff. Super pristine, super nice. And the in-hand feeling of this thing is great. If you like can flip or juggle this and you get it back in your hand, your thumb is just gonna be right there, which feels good. It's very like simplistic colorway and just like overall, just a, a clean design. Obviously I'm gonna have to play with it more and then review it. And making the jut of the step just like that way, it's gonna be super great for when you're doing string tricks. If you're doing a C whip, like he said, you're gonna be able to catch it more. There's a little bit more room for error if you mess up the C whip. This is such a beautiful Kanama and thank you Franta for gifting this to me. This thing is so freaking beautiful. Up next, we got the Marcus Landers mod right here. Same thing with Franta's mod, green is the main color of this thing. So we got green all of the everywhere on the box. You can pause now to read that and you can pause now to read that. So this is the Mala shape. So some things that he did a little bit differently from like Franta or the element shape is that he definitely beefed up the Serato just like Franta actually. And there's no real swoop right there. And he really wanted to focus on juggles with this shape. The ring's a little bit different. So the nuances of the ring are different. And there's an interesting base cup hole. So we'll get to see that. He definitely designed this off the element and to improve and to really enhance his own play style, which is great. We got the same joint right here. This one has green sticker, which is great. Again, the goodies, the silk string, all that, and a button, which is great. And then another custom bag. It says Mala right there, which is beautiful. And then we got the shape right here and whoa, 
This thing is very, very nice. And it, it kind of mixes things up. You got two different players and two different mods, which is really cool. Going over some designs, we got the PDOX logo right there on his mod, which is like super duper awesome. And then we got the Mala Sig right there, which is great. The Lotus logo, you gotta keep it correct with that. The new Lotus logo looks really sick, by the way. No real burns, but this Tama design is great. You got Mala all over this Tama, which looks super beautiful. And you got this really cool design on top of the Tama, which is really cool. I don't know what's going on in it. It might be a map of somewhere. I'm assuming it's a map of somewhere. Marcus, if you wanna tell me what that is down below, that's great, or it's maybe on your box. It's super good. And then we just got that nice yellow green stripe contrasting against the dark green, which is beautiful. Yeah, he wasn't kidding when he said he focused on the juggles with his things. It feels really good. The way it flips is like, it's not slow, it's not too fast, but it feels, again, really controlled, and that's what I really like about these last two shapes is that they feel super controlled. I will have to say, with this right here not being as reduced as, say, Francis mod, the Lunars are there, but again, not as good just because it's a little bit heavier. And with pushing down the cups, it'll probably help a little bit more with that balance. That sling, super good. <laughs> yeah, you could definitely flat fast low with this one. Just off rip, I think this fast low is easier than Francis mod, so that's really cool, but definitely like a Ken flippy juggle, all that kind of stuff. And you can throw lunars in there i think when you like push the cups down a little bit this three bounce whole thing is great and i think again it's for those those finger lighthouses that he was talking about especially since everyone's kind of defaulted to the portal thing or the scooped out base cup hole or just an old base cup hole you kind of can't do that trick anymore but this reduces the weight and still allows for that which is super duper awesome just because we have both of them in hand the serratos look the same it looks like franta's steps in his in his stall points there's a little bit steeper and a little bit more dramatic i think like by like slightly maybe i could be wrong but other than that everything else seems pretty much the same it almost looks like maybe Franta's cup rims are a little bit more rounded than Marcus's. How that affects stalls, I don't know. We'll have to try it out. Yeah, cup sizes are the same. Big difference, definitely the slip ring point. You can see it right here with the swoop and you can see it right here with the kind of normal type slip stop right there. And I know this one has the new anti-skid mat and this has the new anti-skid sticky, but both are gonna come in both. So if you want just the sticky or one of each, just the mat you can buy those when these drop not much else to say for this video i am super grateful that they got to hand these to me in person such a big milestone in general in kendama is to get your own pro model and to have a pro literally hand that model to you in their happy state and in their and just being congratulatory towards them and all that stuff it was an awesome moment again congratulations to marcus and to franta if you guys enjoyed this video please hit the like button subscribe button and hit post notifications so you can be one of the first to watch these videos when they come out and obviously sharing the video goes a long way for the channel this is elijah moko kanama and i'll see you in the next video peace